Well, we're up. It's a beautiful morning. All right, we made it to another spot. Just a quick little jaunt down before we camped. Hey, what is this place? Uh, a mining camp or something. Oh, Death Valley Mine, right. Even though we're not in Death Valley. I remember now. That's sketchy as shit. Yeah. It's actually not that'll, bad. That'll pass code in Lake Los Angeles, though. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. Check I think this out. have a bit of a mouse problem. That's creepy. What's that doing here? Oh, I'm just saying. Dude. It's like a little skeleton doing a headstand with it. I What? <laughs> what, dude? People are messing with people in here. Oh, there's an upstairs. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Dude. I don't think those code, not going to be stairs, but the code. They got rubber matting on them. <laughs> no handrails. Looking too narrow. You never even get anything up there. You should paint a big pentagram on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's shaking up here. Yeah, I'm getting down. <laughs> you get down, I know. Oh, there's a toilet. Oh. Just kidding, it's a closet. It's like old school hangers up here well, and stuff. How do, you, how do you live in a place where you got a two, two foot each stair going down? I'm gonna fall off I might push you. Yeah, go This reminds me of the house I grew up in. Yeah. The stairs, yeah. Cleaner. <laughs> oh, dude, it's a kitchen. I think I paint and you'd be good to go. Oh, wait, there's a cellar or something. Yeah, probably. That's probably where they went to get cool. How long you gotta walk on a door so the door so it wear it down like that? Oh yeah, the mice love it down here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You catch hantavirus down there. Here, you can go next. You just close that door on you. <laughs> Why do I, do I know that game. Huh? Just yeah, like a yeah. cellar, nothing. Wow. Oh, it's the outhouse. There's the outhouse. I think it's still operational if you want to use it. Yeah. Dude, you get three people in here at a time. All right, let's go. It's awfully shallow for an outhouse. There's a glove. You really could use that right now. I might grab my toilet paper. <laughs> I'm sure this here was the was the engine hoist right there. A little crooked. This this house is even even creepier than the last one if that's possible. The fencing is what's tripping me out. That other house had so much stuff around it. What are they keeping in? Should we knock? Yeah. Someone's off. Who is it? What could that have been? Oh, fireplace? Compared to the last one, this one's in. Yeah, don't oh, speak so soon, bro. <laughs> Why is the lighting so bad? Ugh. Yeah, I know. This is the rash. Alright. There's the next one. I think this is where the mine is. I think the mine is just over this little hill right here. There's some fencing, it's probably keeping us out. I don't know if I can get in here. Oh, there's the door. I'm afraid I'm gonna step on a nail or something.
refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Imagine if it started up. Let's go see if we can find the mine. Alright, I think we found it. It's getting windy. That's cool. Uh, like just like the movies. There's still dirt in the buckets. Imagine one day this thing just came to a screeching halt, never to run again. Ugh. And I'd be willing to bet that right here there's some sort of slide that came off the end of this thing and right into the end of that, whatever that contraption is, that barrel thing. Looks like there's another mine over there. And there's Todd and another house. Look at how cool this piece of machinery is. Wonder who built this engine. Case, yeah, that's about right. Crank start. I wonder if it turns still. No, it just locked up. So this would pull the cable cars up the shaft. I think. A big old hook on it. This is how this is where he drove it. Probably forward and reverse. I can just imagine they didn't have like walkie talkies back then, so they're screaming up the thing. You know, forward, reverse, blah blah blah. There's probably a bunch of dudes just screaming and yelling around this thing while it was running. Wow, look at that ladder. But why does it go so high, the ladder? That's it. Uh, head back down to the cars and see what the plan is.
ship. <laughs> My car's rolling away. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Crisis averted. So we're at the Mojave mailbox. <laughs> and we're gonna drop off a gnome. Apparently there's some gnome thing that you drop off gnomes here. So we're gonna do our thing. Oh, I see a bunch of fro there's frogs here. Technically littering. <laughs> What'd you say? Technically it's littering, isn't it? Speak up, the public can't hear you. <laughs> I've got a hundred followers. Though. We'll do this too, uh, Mojave mailbox. I'm aware. Oh, I don't have a trinket to leave. I should leave a Ginsburg Fab sticker on there. <laughs> now they'll just pull that off and throw it away. Huh? <laughs> I said they'll just pull that off and throw it away. Wow. Hmm. That was a fun little run, though. <laughs> Wait. You sponsor me? Is it because of my amazing driving? Yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> His car is so soft inside that he can have Pringles in their hole. And they're fine. I pay attention to what I'm doing. <sighs> Is this any sleeping weeds? <clears throat> Is your frog here? No, it's back at the airport. That was huge. This pile was massive that one time. And where are the gnomes? Over there? There's matchbox cars over there? Uh huh. That used to be covered too. It was a deep one. Why do they mess with this stuff? They take them back because they get too many. So what? Leave them out here. You found the gnome? Hold on, we're gonna look at your favorite one, the Jeep one. That one's like, that one's not so impressive. Why am I out of breath right now? You're not eating Pringles. Can I have a Pringle? Mm. Used to be. They moved them around. They're hiding them from the rangers. You can do it over there. On that one. Closer. But I thought you said the gnome one was over here. No, I said the gnome one used to be over there. I don't see There's any gnomes. No gnome no you gotta start your own, Lee. You're I am. The one that's picking it off. Pick a tree. Lee, Lee, that's the first. You gotta make yeah, your own you gnome plot spot. You have to pop your cherry. Oh, dude, I would do that big tree right there. All right, let's do it. I'll make sure the light's on. Should I put them in the tree? Everyone's eating. I want some food. Man, I wish I could have dropped them in this hole right here. That would have been cool. There's probably some, there's a mouse living in there. I guarantee it. There's this mouse poop. There's definitely something living in there. Oh yeah, I see gnome carnage over here. Nope. Lights on. Gnome has been put down. Oh, there's a gnome up there. Oh, there is. <laughs> All right, I gotta sign on the Mojave mailbox. That's cool. Where are we signing? SoCal Baja Bugs. There we go. I need someone to hold my camera. If I could spell my name. Good luck. L. I'm nervous. E A. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna grab something to eat. And then uh, there'll be some more driving footage, I'm sure.
just like a gigantic pile of dirt. So you can see this place is just massive and I want to see what's up there and over there, but I don't want to climb up there. So I'm going to break out the drone and do some, make some drone footage. Yeah, and apparently they take a tire and they roll a tire down one of these hills. I don't know where, where do they roll a tire down at? So I'm going to try to get that on footage too. So I'm going to bust out the drone.
look at you. Do you want to be a star? No, not at all. <laughs> well, we're at a spot called the Lava Tubes. And if you look, you can see all the like, lava tube field. Is that what he said it was? Lava what? Yeah. Ow, it's hard to walk here. So we're going to go and I guess there's a lava tube that you can go into down here. We're going to go check it out. I got my cool headlamp. I got a flashlight in my pocket just in case there's anything scary down there. I'm terrified. It's like a water slide. We're going to walk up there and walk all the way underneath this and see the slide shaft. So you can climb out this? Yeah. Jack and Chris go down Oh, I can get out that. <laughs> Here, hold my beer. Yeah. Yeah, if you stay in there long enough, sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, right. Eventually. Yeah. So, you know, when you guys go in there, try to step, tread lightly because when the dust, with this many folks, the dust oh, is yeah. going to get uh, this is really choking point. once you get down inside of it. Everything's breakable. Where's that big flashlight you got there? Right here. <laughs> Mine isn't doing anything. Look at that cool shape. That is crazy looking. Wow. Oh wow, it's really low. Am I gonna have to army crawl through this thing? I'm getting claustrophobic here. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Are we supposed to stay to the left of this rock pile? <laughs> Always stay, keep going stay the right. to the right of the, the left of the carriage. The right there? All right, Tyler. Well, come on forward. No more, no more. Back, back up. Back, back, back. Oh, boy. Right there? No, back. I thought that was a bat coming through. No, it's just a bird. Huh, that's cool. You're really going to try to climb out that, aren't you? Yeah. You okay, James? Yeah, not the big guys, but... <laughs> big muscle guy. This fool had to roll through the tube to get out. Roll. Just kind of had it on my knees like this. That was cool. Oh man. to get fuel? Baker. Baker. We're going to Baker to get some fuel. There's a bunch of trucks showing up. Fuel and ice cream. Fuel and ice cream. I'll try to set up for some more driving shots, but I doubt I'll do any filming at Baker. Maybe I will.
this cool little cabin. Uh, I'm trying to download all my stuff. I'm full on memory. I downloaded everything out of that, deleted that and stuff. And I'm working with GoPro. It's got 77 movies from the last two days. But I wanted you guys to see this cool cabin that we're staying in. Well, most of us are sleeping outside, but some of us are sleeping in here. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> the rules. Note the rules. Here's the rules. Huh. That's cool. I gotta come back and read that when I'm not filming. But it's pretty well equipped. I mean, for a free spot. It's got... Is there actually water in there? Look at that. It's got a date on it and everything. I mean, we all bring our own water, but it's pretty cool to be getting... Keep it clean. Oh, it's a, it's a stove. I wonder if there's any gas. Uh, uh, oh my god, it works. That is crazy. Dude, James is making an Italian style pepper steak. What are you making? Oh, pad thai? Like pad thai with chicken. Look at these things. They look like, they don't, they look like weird stuff. Italian style pepper steak. <laughs> oh, pad thai. Oh yeah, we're, we're going right now. It's a race too. Race got this janky, I'm gonna kick the cabinet and knock it. Look at your shit's melting, dude. It's bending sideways. Look at it. Oh it's my god. Get along. Look at this like amazing piece of engineering right here. Okay, and you get this freaking hoopty. I might need to crank it down. Going on over here? It's getting a little red. Oh, oh weird. Mine's boiling already. Oh, let me turn that off. Oh! Oh, that's why they call it a jet boil. Alright, alright. What, right. what do I what do I You're right. Yours that that was fast. <laughs> Look at that. It still hasn't boiled. It's boiling. Look. Dude, mine was about to blast off. I don't know. Let it get a little hotter. Like me. This thing's hot. <laughs> Alright, with meat, you know, tenderize it. Perfect. With this thing was just here, right? Yeah, it's sitting here. That's so rad. And if we need to so I was going to do it on the ground with a little, I have a little portable grill grate, but it's tiny. Well, I finally got my GoPro back. I lost the ability to record anything. I was full of, uh, space on my memory card, the batteries were dead. I spent a little time trying to get my shit ready so I could film a little more of this place we have with my GoPro. So here's where we're staying the night tonight. It's pretty amazing. Look at that view. It's a really cool house. This cabin some people own and they make it open for just hikers, off-roaders, whoever's around that needs a spot to stay for the evening. And if you have the flag up there, that means that you're occupying it and you have it. If someone comes up the road, they see the flag up, they know that they can't stay here because you're here. It's pretty cool and you leave stuff for the, uh, you know, the next person coming. Most people end their weekends here or their trips here, so they leave whatever supplies that they don't want to use or they don't want to take home. Here, water, food, whatever it is. These guys are just having a good old time. Look at these. Wherever you can sleep, I've slept in this bunk since I've been in Florida. Yeah, I too. Yeah, I mean, Talking about past times on the Mojave Road. I'm gonna enjoy my evening. Check back in with you guys tomorrow.